good morning children today we will study about non polar and polar covalent bonds so far we have seen what are ionic bonds and covalent bonds now non polar and polar covalent bonds what are non polar covalent bonds non polar means no polarity the name is indicating so this is formed between similar atoms they may be same ideally same otherwise similar atoms having difference of e and nearly zero or as low as possible or almost zero or very low difference of e n example h2 o2 n2 these are the ideal examples of uh, non polar covalent bonds because here you can see the bond is formed between like atoms similar atoms or the same atoms so here the difference of e n electronegativity will be zero so they are totally non polar solvents besides from class 10 you know uh, molecules like ch4 etc they are also non polar because the difference of en is also not very high in case of methane etc so they were also non polar compounds and these are the very good examples of non polar compounds now polar compounds or polar covalent bond or compounds having polar covalent bond this is formed between dissimilar atoms means not the like atom they cannot be like atoms having difference of e n good difference of e n having different electronegativities having good difference of electronegativities example hf you know f is a very highly electronegative atom and as compared to f the electronegativity of h is quite low so we have good difference of electronegativity so this bond is polar covalent bond scl you know from class 10 uh, we know that or rather 9th it is a polar covalent bond water is also an example of polar covalent bond uh, so ammonia also an example of polar covalent bond so when it is between dissimilar atoms having good difference of electronegativities we call them examples of polar covalent bond and such a bond polar covalent bond so this is non polar and polar covalent bonds now children it's very rare that we have compounds having purely ionic bond and purely covalent bond we do have but uh, many compounds are there which in spite of being covalent have ionic character and which in spite of being ionic have covalent character this is mainly due to difference of electro negativities all ionic compounds do not have the same ionic character same percentage of ionic character whatever the percentage of ionic character in nacl cannot be in cacl2 cannot be in alcl3 similarly all your covalent compounds like h2o2 etc these in hf they also do not have the same covalent character so covalent character in ionic bonds compounds having ionic bond but they do bear covalent character so what is uh, the grade of the, the extent of covalent character they have we study with the help of fajans rule this is very important children uh, you always get questions based on that you can always expect made be test or exam or even your competitions now what is this fajan rule prior to fajan rule try to understand one term polarization this term polarization uh, polarization is more or less the same what you uh, understand or you go through or you study under the heading fajan rule so fajan rule and polarization you can say in a way they go parallel together they are more or less one and the same thing now so what is polarization now children try to understand during ionic bond formation please see to it very attentively during ionic bond formation when we have cation and anion approaching towards each other they reach a point they reach a certain distance a point where this cation which was here it starts pulling 
this electron cloud of the anion towards itself and pushes repels the nucleus of this anion this is a anion so this is i have shown you a minus but this anion also has nucleus in the center and electron cloud outside so this is your anion this is which is dotted line here this is your anion when it is in the natural condition undisturbed condition when they reach a certain distance it was found is that this cation pulls the electron cloud of this anion towards itself and repels pushes the nucleus of this anion so there occurs a distortion this kind of distortion in the regular geometry the shape which was earlier of uh, anion there occurs a distortion in the regular geometry of this anion it takes this way slightly pulled towards cation and distortion occurs this was spherical the distortion occurs in the geometry of this anion the shape of this anion this is known as polarization of anion by cation this is known as polarization of this anion by the cation right we are using this term in fajan's rule fajan's rule fajan actually said that greater the polarization greater will be the covalent character fajan said he said one line greater the polarization of what of anion greater the polarization of anion by the cation greater will be the covalent character i repeat greater the polarization of the anion by cation polarization means pulling electrons towards itself and repelling the nucleus of the anion and this distortion in the geometry this is overall called polarization of the anion so greater the polarization of the anion greater will be the covalent character this is what fajan said now what all factors favor polarization or what all factors according to fajan's rule favor covalent bond formation or covalent character now children this polarization which is there this attracted to this electron cloud pulled towards the cation it results in the sharing of electrons between the two when the electrons are pulled towards each other this electron cloud is pulled towards the cation so this result in the sharing of some electrons between the two these two and therefore develops a partial covalent character therefore develops a partial covalent character right that's why i said greater the polarization greater will be the covalent character the extent of polarization in ionic compound is governed by fajan's rule what did he say is smaller the cation and bigger the anion favor polarization is smaller the cation is smaller the cation and bigger the anion favor polarization polarization means covalent character while we know if we have big cation means size big of the atom electrons easily given out so big cation and small anion which has taken electron easily it favors ionic bond while the opposite it says a smaller cation and greater anion greater polarization and greater polarization means greater covalent character it will be more clear to you when i discuss questions based on this number 2 greater charge on ions 
if with the cation or the anion if they are greater charge greater will be the polarization then those cations especially cations which have got pseudo stable configuration pseudo means false falsely stable configuration like if i give you cu plus and na plus these two cations are there they were found to be of the nearly same size a nearly same charge then if they ask you which out of these undergo will undergo or will show greater polarization or greater polarizing power because cations polarize the anions this property this tendency of the cation to polarize the anion is called the polarizing power of cation right polarizing power of cation and the tendency of the anion to get polarized is called polar polarizability of the anion these terms are not given in your book i'm telling you so polarization of anion by cation right so anion has polarizability because it got polarized cation was polarizing this is the polarizing power of the cation so the cations when i said same charge same size then how will we decide which will show greater uh, polarization or will have uh, suppose the question is like this you are given cucl and you are given nacl which will have greater ionic character and why so both are ionic compounds uh cl cl same size cu plus na plus same size so what is the criteria decide that they will which will be more ionic in nature so here we say here you see children copper copper means it is 4s1 3d10 uh one gone means stable here right and here it was uh this your sodium which is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 this gone stable configuration so this is octet complete and here this is third shell completely filled so third shell means it was initially having 3s2 3p6 so 3 to 6 8 and 10 18 so it is having completely filled third shell 18 electrons it's not the case of octet so when we have pseudo stable configuration or say pseudo noble gas configuration pseudo stable configuration means not octet complete but otherwise stable configuration like here shell is filled they show greater polarization means cu plus will show greater polarization as compared to na plus so if we come down to compound in case of cu cl there will be greater polarization means lesser ionic character in nacl there will be lesser polarization means there will be greater ionic character then higher dielectric constant of medium suppose we have the solvent as water there what happens children the compounds show better ionic character because then we have lesser polarization when the compounds have high dielectric constant as medium like water as solvent then the compounds show good ionic character because in that case in that medium those compounds they undergo lesser polarization means more of ionic character so children this thing is a little uh, it requires more of your attention i repeat again once and that should be the last during ionic bond formation when cation and anion approach towards each other as it is here they reach a certain point where this cation pulls the electron cloud of this anion towards itself and repels the nucleus hence there occurs a distortion in the regular geometry of this anion this is known as polarization of anion by cation correct due to this 
or say this results in the sharing of electrons between the two. Therefore, develops a partial covalent character. So, greater this happening, what is happening? Greater the polarization, greater will be the covalent character. So, greater the polarization, greater will be the covalent character. Extent of polarization in any compounds is governed by Fajan Sul. Then, a smaller cation, greater anion, more polarization. Greater charge, more polarization. Pseudo stable, like not octet, but this way as in case of copper, then also it will be greater polarization. And if the solvent has high dielectric constant, then we have lesser polarization, means the compounds show lesser covalent character and more of ionic character. So this video you need to see twice, twice in the evening children, then only it will be clear to you. I have explained you and in the simplest form, we will do questions now in the next video. I stop here for this video. It was not something uh, impossible. Yes, it needs attention because it was never taught to you earlier. Something new, but very important, very fundamental and based on this, you are asked questions everywhere, whether class test or exam or even your competitions. So we stop here for this video. Thank you, children.